Hold on, y'all. I lost my damn. Oh, never mind. Hold on, y'all. My bad. I couldn't find my phone for these notes. What's happening, bitch? So, um, I'm not gonna be up here long because these lights is getting hot. Um, so we finally made it. <coughs> Excuse me. So we finally made it to the damn. Okay. So we finally made it to the damn first part of this reunion, child. <coughs> Excuse me. This these stinking ass salt wives, girl. This is season two, episode twenty-two, the reunion part one. So it starts off with the disclaimer that they gave for and about her racist rantix acts that took place back in 2020 and how this was filmed before any of that came out. <coughs> Excuse me. So what they're saying is don't get mad with them. Okay. This was before any of that happened. <coughs> Lord, this is before any of that happened. Get about y'all feelings and get about y'all bad. Girl, my throat can't scratch it. Hopefully it ain't the Omicron. Uh-huh. So they all of the ladies arrive, and you know, Andy does what the hell Andy do. You know, he go around there to all of the different ladies and talk to them and see how they feeling and blah blah blah. Um, so Meredith is ready to get things started, honey. She's ready to get some ish off her chest. She said, um, a lot of these girls, Lisa in particular, had a lot to say about me. And now I'm coming up here to see about this hoe. And I, I'm all down for it, Meredith. I am. I was here for Meredith's energy. I was here for Meredith's attitude. I was here for Meredith's transparency. And I was here for Meredith calling out the people that she needed to call the hell out. I was down for it. I was here for all things Meredith. I was here for her. Um. So Mary chose, excuse me, the bigot ass cult leader who's only black when it's convenient for her, um, decides that she didn't want to show up down to the reunion because she's upset with everyone calling her her church what the hell it is, a damn cesspool led by a damn cult leader. She leading everybody around there to, to the seventh, layer, seventh level of hell, and obviously nobody cares. Um, and she's hurt that Whitney called her a predator. Like I said, he is a predator. All right, because you prey on the weak, you prey on the weak minded and the feeble minded, like them people, them, them damn zombies you got drinking all that damn MK Ultra on Communion Sunday. Let's just be clear. I mean, I don't know what else you call somebody that do that, but other than a predator, like I said, the only reason why a lot of y'all felt the way about that was because Whitney was a was a Caucasian woman saying that about Mary. And I done told y'all once and I done said it again. I don't give a damn because if it was a sister that set up there and told her that you bitches would be in agreement with it. Not only will you be in agreement with it, you'll be sitting up here clink, clink, clink in your damn glasses with your damn um, sky vodka and your uh, sequence ginger ale like I'm doing now. So y'all miss me with all that. So Heather says that she gained respect for Mary because some of her reads was on point. And I said, <clears throat> that's what I said, friend, because friend, basically you agree that Whitney is a man still a hussy who stole that woman man. That's basically what you're saying because she called, she called her a whore. So I mean, did you agree that Whitney's a harlot? Now, I'm not saying that. That's what Mary said. And you said her reads be on point. So I'm just asking, friend. You know what I'm saying? She referenced your weight. So I'm assuming she was right. You, the, What she called you, and, and I can't think of what she said about your weight, but she said it and it pissed me off. You don't find nothing wrong with it. I, I, you know... And, and, and whatever else, you know, how she called Jen a Mexican thug. <laughs> and, and so, I mean, then you agree that Jen is the Mexican muchacha thug that's running around out here knocking over old ladies' purses, knocking, o knocking over their purses and shit for their damn um, funds, their tanners, 
You know what I'm saying? They Social Security, they SSI, they Section 8, they government cheese. So you agree with all of that. I'm just saying, friend, you said that her reads be on point. And she says some horrible, nasty, despicable things about all of y'all other than Meredith. So you basically agree with her thing. She said, I'm just saying, friend, that's what you said. So, but, you know, look, I ain't mad at it. it, it hey, it is what it is, friend. I, I'm going to let you have it. Um, so Andy gets Shawshank, talks to Shawshank about her court case. And what can she say? She's still up here trying to say that, you know, she's innocent and all of the rest of this stuff. And, you know, her lawyers was talking her out of doing season two, which I thought that she should have set season two out as well until she got this situation straight and know for sure that her ass ain't going to the clanker. <coughs> Excuse me, but you know, that's what she chose to do. So it is what it is. Um, and then they talk about Shawshank and her apology toward this season. Like I said, her apologies ain't worth a hill of damn beans. Her apologies are worth as about as much as Mary and Cancel. That's what I think about uh, Shawshank and her apologies. Moving on. So Shawshank says that the other ladies have said nasty things to her and about each other. But yet, she's the only one that's getting called out. And then Bravo Andy Old Messi has said, well, I saw you looking at Lisa. And she was. And then she went on ahead and said, well, yeah, I, I, I am. So then that's when Heather, friend, that's when friend and Lisa get into it. I know that's right, friend. You better stand up for yourself and you better stand up for when it comes to Lisa because she's right. Lisa, you have said some nasty ass things about Whitney and Heather in particular. Two women that's never done a goddamn thing to you. Like, it's just like you started the season not wanting to see it for them. And then another thing that you did, Lisa, that I hate when people call you out on your bullshit, what you want to sit up and there and do is say, oh, well, I'm sorry. I guess I have to be perfect. When it comes to this group, I always have to be perfect. Bitch, leave me alone because you were the one who came up here with, I'm the perfect wife. I'm the perfect mother. I have the perfect family. I have the perfect husband. I have the perfect kids. I'm the perfect Mormon wife. I'm the perfect Mormon this. I have the perfect business. I have the perfect staff. I have the best clothes. I have the best jewelry. I have the best house. I have the best this. I have the best that. So yeah, when you get up here and you portray yourself as such to everybody, of course, when you fall short, people going to damn sure call you on it because again, you have the best of the best of everything. So yeah, you tried it. Go sit down somewhere, daughter. Sit down. You 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 not built for this, Lisa. You try to act like you are. See, you want to be the mean girl so bad. But Lisa, that's not you. I don't know why you want to be that, but that's not you. And it's really unattractive. I'm just saying. Moving on. So Meredith apologizes to Shawshank for everything that she has said or done to her that hurt her family or whatever. And then she breaks down. And then Meredith feels like Shawshank was way more nicer to her than um, Lisa was. I said, oh, dear God, no, you didn't, Meredith. Um, <clears throat> you know, I felt for Meredith. I get it. Meredith was going through a lot. Not only did she have to deal with her and her sister getting into her, her father dying unexpectedly. She couldn't bury him the way she wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, couldn't hold the memorial the way she wanted to, and this, this, that, and this, and then she has to come up amongst y'all and have to deal with being scrutinized about dates and, 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 and this and that. Like, yeah, that is a lot to put a person up over the edge, and I, for one, had no idea that Meredith was going through any of that. You know what I'm saying? That has to be a lot to deal with. So, you know, I, I, I get it, Meredith. Like, if I was you, I probably would have been a bitch to everybody else, too. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a lot of y'all just didn't think about that. Y'all was more concerned with making a show. And I get it because y'all are on the reality show. I get all of that. But when somebody is going through something personal, you know, sometimes it is that's best to just back the hell off. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the way I take it. But whatever, feel any way y'all want to feel. Um, and about Meredith saying that Shawshank was way nicer to her than Lisa. They had to have stung Lisa, but because it's the truth. Okay? It's stung, 
but it was the truth. I believe all of those women were way more nicer and way more there for her than you ever was. I totally believe that, Lisa. But Lisa, that goes back to what I said before. Meredith must have done something to you and you not speaking on what it is that she did. That's really what I think because I still just find it odd and peculiar that y'all have been friends for 10 years and you get on a reality show for two and y'all no longer see it for each other. You up here spreading each other's personal business down on hot mics, Lisa, and every damn thing else. And it's just like, I just couldn't imagine getting on reality TV, bringing my two best friends up there, Mimi and Nitra, bringing them up there. And then the next thing I know, we fight and falling out and we not friends no more. And I'm up here spreading all their damn personal business because I got a platform to do so. Like, I just I, I, I could I could never imagine myself doing that. And, and I would hope they wouldn't do no mess like that to me. So it's just like. I, whatever. So Meredith feels like uh, canceled was too involved in her and Shaw Saint situation. And she was. I said that shit then. I said, you went way too hard for no damn reason. Like, you are so far removed from what they got going on, bitch. You ain't friends with none of these women up here other than Lisa old tired ass. And the fact that you came up here as Lisa's friend definitely said a goddamn lie. I was only saying, I said that then. You gave way too much smoke. But see, then again, that, but that goes back to what I said. I don't even think it had nothing to do with Meredith. You really gave all of that smoke to Mary. And we all know why. You imbecilic moron. You trashy, classless whore. Moving on. So Heather and Whitney feels like canceled is being used by Lisa to fight some of her battles. I totally can see that. I totally can see that. Okay. Cancel is very canceled is very easily manipulated because you see what she was doing all of this and da -da 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 -da. we all know where she got that from. So, you know, I believe it. I, I believe every word of that. I believe it. Um, so Lisa says that she's not a puppet master and Meredith feels like there is a level of control there. Say your piece, Meredith. Speak your piece and let the Lord fight your battle, son. I was on her side with that. There is a level of control there between her and Cancel. It is. It is. It is. I totally agree with Heather when she said that you was Lisa's friend and Lisa downloaded you and pumped you in on a lot of information about how she felt about us. And until you came around and really saw us for who we was, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I, I, I totally agree with that. I do. I totally agree with that. And Lisa, <clears throat> like, I was down, down. I was down for them calling you out on your, on your, on your, your bullshit. Because Lisa, you're not good at reality TV at all. You're not. Like you made so many amateur mistakes when it came down to being a bone collector and a bone carrier and starting some mess. Like every damn time you start tried to start some mess, it all led back to you. When it came down to the Cameron situation, be clear, may he rest in peace. But Cameron, like, come on. The minute he saw Meredith, he made a beeline to her to go and tell her what he know about Mary. Come on. When it came down to Whitney and the situation between Angie and then you just so happened to conveniently take her down to the restaurant to the people that canceled on Angie and they brought that up down to the table and you and Whitney brought it up and she pulled your slip and she showed your card. Like you're not smart. You're not smart at all. Hell, Sheree was much more smarter than that. Like, come on, get you. Like, Lisa, to be real, I honestly think you would have been real cool had you just came up here and been yourself. You came up here and wanted to be this it bitch, and it's just like, girl, you live in Utah. I don't know too many it bitches that live in Utah other than Fran and Whitney and Meredith. You know what I'm saying? And Miss Brakeisha. Okay, Miss Brakeisha, damn sure it bitch. You hear me? 
Like, it ain't too many it bitches around there. And you damn sh- for sure ain't one of them. Moving on. Girl with that ill-fitted ass dress on. Child, eat, girl, you, what you need to do, as much bullshit as you really eat while you sitting up here trying to act like you and your family eat real healthy, girl, no, y'all don't. As much as much hamburgers and, and Taco Bell and, and, and checkers and or rallies, depending on where you at, Hardee's and or Carl's Jr., depending on where you at, as much as that bullshit y'all eat, you really should have much more bones, I mean, you know, uh, 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 so while you up here trying to shade Heather, at least Heather got body. I'd rather have body to be a stove pipe shaped ass. <laughs> Moving on. Um, so they brought up the comments made by Mary about cancel. I don't care. I don't care. I really don't. I don't care. I did care at first until I found out who the hell cancel was. Once I found out who the hell cancel was, I don't care what Mary said about her slanted ass, her her anime ass appearance. None of that shit. I don't care. I could care less. I, I, I don't care. Whatever Mary said about her, I don't give a damn. Now, when it came down to um Jen, Shit, I don't care either. Jen ass ain't black. <laughs> I don't care either. I'm just going to be real. And no, I don't like Mary at all. But in this instance, I will stand with Mary because I didn't like that. I didn't like how y'all just had to have that conversation why Mary won't there. That's what I didn't like. Because, it, like, see, that's why I wish you was there, Mary. Don't be no punk ass bitch. If you're going to get up here and you're going to read people down with them rudimentary ass reads, let's be clear, because they are. If this was Real Housewives of Atlanta or Real Housewives of Potomac, they would have ate her ass up. Candace would have ate her ass up. Wendy would have ate her ass up. Nene would have ate her ass up. Kenya would have ate her ass up. Marlo would have ate her ass up. Hosha would have ate her ass up. Me, like, come on. Like, let's, let's be honest. But I stand with Mary in that moment. I was not here for y'all sitting up there trying to have a conversation about race with Mary not there. Y'all just should have left that shit out. Especially considering the fact that y'all gave a disclaimer about that nonsense that Cancel did. Y'all just should have left that part out. I, I won't hear for that. I won't hear for that. Trying to sit up here and give this woman a, 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 a damn pedestal. But now we don't already see who see her and see her for who she is. That being the case, y'all should have cut that out. That shit I didn't like at all. Moving on. You sat up there and gave a small little five to ten second disclaimer about that bitch. But then y'all want to sit up here and give a whole two to three minute segment about race. A bunch of uh, sitting up a, 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 a sitting up amongst Caucasian women. And Shawshank. I didn't like that. Moving on. And I'm saying that for Andy. I didn't like that. Anyway. So Lisa was asked, was she shocked by Mary's by Meredith's loyalty to Mary? And she said, yeah, as we all was. We all shocked by that because it's like I said, y'all ain't real friends for real. This is some shit that, listen, Mary needed somebody to film with and none of the other ladies didn't want to film with her because she didn't want to film with none of the other ladies. But God knows why, you know. So, you know, I, 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 I mean, yeah, for everybody that want to know, you know, why do I keep referencing their friendship as being weird? Because it is. It is. Moving on. So a fan asks Cancel, why does she have black scent? Why do you sit up here and you do, like I said in the other video, you do all of this to Mary, but then when she says, oh, you getting hood, you want to get upset. Like I said, all of the ghetto fat project hood bitches I know do this. So I don't get why you got upset about that. I don't. Like I was with the viewer. All uh, like I said before, all of this is is stereotypical to what I said. Ghetto fat project hoes. That that's stereotypical to them. Ghetto fat project bitches do this. So the fact that you did this, 
and she called you hood, I don't understand why you got mad. Then you want to sit up and say, you didn't throw a drink, you know, you didn't throw a glass to at Mary. No, you didn't throw the you didn't throw the glass at Mary, you threw it to Mary, or you didn't throw the glass to Mary, you threw it on the floor, or whatever the hell it was you said. <coughs> Cancel. I really want to take you out to the hood. And I really want to take you out to the hole in the wall, specifically to, to Virginia. I really want to take you to um our world in Virginia and Hampton. That's really where I want to take you at. I re or, or, or to the rolling 20s. I want to take you there. Or hell, I, girl, I really want to take your ass down to the alley. And I want to see you pull that shit to Mary. To, 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 to them real ghetto fab projetic hoes, especially the ones down to the alley. That's what I really want to do. You say you about that life canceled? I really want to know. I really want to know. So Andy asks, does Lisa stir the part? Everybody but cancel raise her hand, of course. Um... And uh, then they get down to Lisa and Decatur Gate shit. Like I said, Lisa, you knew exactly what you was doing. You was definitely behind that situation. And I totally agree with Whitney. You only did that because you got mad that your real good friend was not only friends with your mortal enemy for whatever your reasons are. And it's almost to the point where you're telling her, don't claim her as her cousin. Then you tried to sit up. And, 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 and come up with an explanation as to why you would say some stupid ass shit like that. Like, you're not smart. You don't belong on reality TV. You don't. You don't belong on reality TV because you, you don't know how to do the game. Anyway, Lisa's in the hot seat. And that's the end of the damn episode. Um, <clears throat> Tonight's episode, it was okay. It was okay. Um, It riled me up a little bit when they got down to the whole racist talk. Um, setting up amongst these Caucasian women and Jen again, I say, um, I just I, I I felt like that was something that should have been caught caught um cut out. I believe that that whole situation about what Mary said about cancel should have been cut out, especially since what came out about her was already out before y'all filmed the reunion. So I didn't understand why y'all specifically wanted to put that part in there. You know what I mean? Like it came out like it's show sure enough y'all did the reunion. But I'm more than sure y'all had enough time to slice and slice and dice and cut that part out before y'all showed us this shit tonight. Like I I did not appreciate that conversation at all. I didn't like it. I, no 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 shade Meredith Lisa fuck canceled. I don't like her. Uh <laughs> Fine for the shits and giggles. No shade to Shawshank, no shade to friend, no shade to Whitney. But I, I didn't like it. That that part annoyed me. Like, yeah, that part, y'all damn show tried it. Y'all really tried it on that part. You did. Um, but other than that, it was all right, I guess. Um, y'all drop down in the comments. Please get the discussion popping in the comments, y'all. Get the comments popping. Get the comments flowing. I want to know how y'all felt about this episode, child. Uh, make sure to like, comment, share, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, be sure to be here tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock on the Gags with T channel. That's the second channel. Make sure that all of y'all are subscribed to the second channel because I'm going to be back on there tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock for the less gag for this where we can really get into some things and all that good stuff. So definitely be on the lookout for that. The link is already out. The link been out for a couple of days now. Make sure to head around there, like it up, leave a comment and set those reminders so that y'all don't miss it. Um to the second channel. I don't know where in the flying hell y'all been because that's where all the less gags are. Um, don't get mad at me if you miss it, child. Um, and with that, I'm gone.